let's look at these examples of the first assignment that we have on proving triangles congruent. Remember how we are just using right now the methods of proving that involve side, side, side and side, angle, side. We're not using anything else today because we haven't officially learned any of the rest of them. Okay, look at the first one, number one. Notice how we have a side congruent to a side, an angle congruent to an angle, and a side congruent to a side. That means that these are congruent by side, angle, side. Now an important part of the process is to give the congruence statement. They've already done half of it for us, giving us the order they want it written in. So B, C, A is going to be congruent to, well what corresponds to B? Angle E does, so triangle E, and then C corresponds to D, so D, and then A corresponds to F. So the congruent statement is triangle BCA is congruent to triangle EDF because of the side angle side theorem. And actually that might be more of a postulate. Some of them are postulates and some of them are theorems. And now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that side angle side is actually a postulate. We were able to show that pretty easily. Okay, the next one, we have a side congruent to a side, angle, or side congruent to a side, angle, bleh, I keep saying angle when I mean side, side congruent to a side, side congruent to a side, side congruent to a side. So the reason that those are congruent is because of side, 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 and the congruent statement is M-O-P congruent to A-E-R because these go together, these go together, these go together. So we have to pay careful attention to that order. Here's another side angle side, D-O-G, T-A-C. Okay, here is a side congruent to a side, a side congruent to a side, and an angle congruent to angle. But we talked about today how side-side angle doesn't work because it could be two different possible triangles. This one could just be deceiving and it might actually be a triangle with the same length but different dimensions this direction. So therefore we just write not possible on that one. We don't write a congruent statement or anything because if we can't prove it congruent, we don't want to write a congruent statement. So that would technically be SSA because it does not work. Okay, number five, we have an angle, a side, and a side. Again, this one's not possible just because it's just like the last one. Yes. Okay, number six involves a property we learned a long time ago called the reflexive property. And the reflexive property says that something is congruent to itself. So by the reflexive property, AK is congruent to AK because it's exactly the same line for both triangles. So AKM is congruent to AKR and the reason is side, angle, side. The next one, based on what we've learned so far with SSS and SAS, this one would be um, not possible for today because technically it would be a side-side angle problem. But we're going to learn in a few days how to actually make this one possible with a different theorem, not SSS, not SAS, and it will no longer defy SSA because it has to do with the fact that it's a right triangle. It will work. But for today, since we don't know it, we say not possible. This one has something tricky. The arrows mean that the lines are parallel. Arrows mean lines parallel. And when the lines are parallel, there's different types of angles that'll be congruent. So in this case, we have these two angles that'll be congruent. So the alternate interior angles are congruent. Then we also have the reflexive property that tells us those are congruent. So because of those two things, we know side angle side. So that one can be done. BIE is going to be congruent to KEI because of side angle side. Now on your assignment today there's some other problems that involve like vertical angles. 
So when vertical angles are in a picture like this, you know that those will be congruent. Also on your assignment today, there's some problems where they only have one side and one angle, or just two sides. If you only know two things, that's not enough. You have to know three in order to use side, 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 or side, angle, side. So if they don't give you enough information, then it might not be possible to prove them congruent.